So welcome everyone. This video is a short tutorial of how the first telehealth session should look like. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the checklist that you all have uh, with Adam here that will be my patient. Um, we're going to go step by step. I'm going to share my screen with you so you'll see how to use the external control um, and understand how the process should look like from beginning to end. So the first thing I'm going to do prior to meeting Adam is to screen and make sure that Adam is appropriate for VR therapy. So you will have the clinical questionnaires that will be in the EMR system. And you're going to review the clinical questionnaires. You're going to make sure that the patient doesn't have any of the contraindications. If you have um, missing information or you're not sure if that patient is appropriate for VR, you can contact that physician that referred the patient or their PCP um, just to clarify any questions that you might have. Um, and you want to be 100% sure that this patient is appropriate for VR therapy at home. So let's say I reviewed all the information. Adam here is a cervical patient. He has neck pain uh, following a motor vehicle accident. And also he is a little anxious about that pain. He's got a little bit of um, fear of movement. And all together with what's happening today with the coronavirus and the fact that he is stuck at home and cannot go see his physical therapist. So that's a general overview of the patient. Um, before I meet Adam, I will log into the data portal. So you're going to use your clinician username and you're going to look for Adam's name in the data portal. The profile is going to be there already, but you would need to update all the information in it. So you'll need to put the age um, and then the ICD code on the referral that you received or the ICD code that is in the EMR system. The next step would be to evaluate Adam. So this meeting was scheduled in advance by XR and it's gonna be on your schedule um, in the EMR system. Adam, welcome. Hi. How are you feeling today? Good, pretty good. Good. So, uh, if you don't mind, could you state your full name? Adam Smith. And your date of birth? August 19th, 1980. Okay. And what state are you are currently in? Mass. Mass, perfect. So, it is important each session to ask the patient what state they are currently. Because let's say if Adam is going on vacation, uh, to Florida, and I am not licensed in Florida. Technically, I'm not allowed to see him. So we would want to ask that question each session. So let's say Adam has a copay uh, for this session of uh, $10. I would be in charge of taking the copay. It could, you can do it at the beginning of the session or at the end, but it has to be in the same day. Do you have your headset ready to go? Is it fully charged? Yes. Perfect. So when you place it on the table next to you, the controllers as well. Okay. If the patient did not charge the headset, please ask them to go ahead and plug it in while we're talking and doing the evaluation so we would have some battery life when we get to the actual part of the VR. So Adam, why are, you, why are we meeting today? What is the reason you're looking to have VR therapy? Because my neck uh, hurts when I turn my head to the right. Uh, I have difficulty in looking to the side. Uh, it's because of a car accident I was involved in. And that's it pretty much. Okay. How much would you rate your pain from zero to 10? I would say eight. eight. Can you show me where it hurts? All this part. Okay, so it's mostly on the right side? Right. Right. Okay. What kind of pain is it? Is it more like a burning feeling? Is it more numb? Is it sharp? It's pretty sharp. It's like my whole muscle just got stiffed. I can't move it at all. Does the pain wake you up at night? No. No. Perfect. Um, is there a difference in the pattern during the day? Is the pain worse in the morning, in the evening? No evening difference. for sure. Evening. Okay. And how long did you have this pain? Do you have this pain? Three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. 
Um, what makes your pain worse? Is there like a specific movement that you do? I can't move at all, like everything. I'm trying to look okay. to the right, so I just can't. So any movement. Okay. Are you able to get dressed, um, do your active daily activities? I can, but it's but it hurts. Okay. So it takes you like more time than usual? Yes. Okay. Good. Did you have any x-ray done or an MRI? Yes, I have. And nothing was found. It's all normal. Okay. Perfect. Um, what do you do currently for work? I work uh, as a graphic designer. Okay. So you sit a lot in front of the computer? I do. Okay. So do you feel like it's interrupting your work? Like how long are you able to sit in front of the computer until the pain is there? Um, I can sit for a few hours. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, any medications or medical history that I need to be aware of? None. None, okay. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna look a little bit of how you move. So can you move back a little bit? Okay, perfect. Are they and are there any objects around you at the moment? The couch. Okay. Can you move your hands freely? Okay, perfect. What I would like you to do is I would like you to look up to the ceiling as much as you can. All right. Okay. And now look down. Okay, now look to the sides, let's say to your left. Okay, and then to the right. Okay, now like tuck your ear to the side. That hurts. Okay, does it hurt on the right or in the left? Both. Okay. Okay, can you stand up? Okay, can you lift? your hands to the front. Both hands? Yep. So in front of your body. Perfect. Can you go higher? Okay, perfect. Can you open to the side? Can you go further along? Okay. And now turn so I'll see your side. Perfect. And now see if you can reach back with your hands. Yep. How does that affect your neck? It hurts. It hurts. Okay, you can sit down. Okay, are you sitting on a chair with wheels? Yes. Okay, so when you're seeing a patient, it's recommended that the patient won't sit on the chair with wheels, just in case they are overwhelmed with the VR environment and we want them to be in the steady chair. Okay, so you don't need to change it right now, Adam. This is just a demo, but for a real patient, make sure the patient is sitting on a steady surface. Okay, so, so now we're gonna start working with the headset. Okay, so in order to limit the risk of injury, we would like to make sure that the area around Adam is clear from objects, kids, dogs, anyone that could interfere in the session. Okay, so Adam, make sure the area around you is clear and you're far away from the table so you can move freely. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to explain to you what applications I would like you to use in the next two weeks. Um, we're, I'm gonna introduce the applications to you, show you the settings that I think are most relevant for you. Um, we're going to start with three applications. So you're going to start with Rotate, and that would be to help with the range of motion of your neck and reducing that pain that you have over there and kind of increasing the mobility. The second app we're going to use would be Balloon Blast. The goal of prescribing Balloon Blast would be to kind of increase your movement and mobility of the upper extremity. And the third application I would like to prescribe to you would be Relax 8, and that would be to help with the pain management um, and reduce anxiety around that neck pain. Okay? Right. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna ask you to take the headset and the controllers. 
please secure the controllers on your hand. Make sure that you're putting the right controller with the right hand, the left controller with the left hand. So there's a little righty over here. Left here with you. All right. Perfect. And now you can turn on the headset and put it on your head. Okay. So can you tell me what screen are you seeing right now? I see the main screen with the menu that says sign in or pair new external device. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pair the external device with Adam's headset. So I'm gonna click here on add new headset. And Adam, can you please click on pair a new external device? You're gonna see a code. When you're ready, can you read it to me? Yes, one, two, nine, one, zero, zero. And I'm gonna name the headset with the patient initials. So let's say Adam Smith, and I'm gonna put um, one, two, three, four for this demonstration. This username, you would need to document in the EMR system as well. So next time Adam and I will meet, it will automatically pop up and I will know that AS123 is Adam. Okay, so we are paired. Now the headset is here on the left. I'm gonna click on the headset and my patient list here is going to open and here is Adam Smith. Okay. Now this is the main menu of the control panel. We have a control headset mode, a mirror mode, switch patient or log out patient. Now when I click on control headset, I have full control of the patient's experience. So Adam cannot navigate in between the applications. I am in control of all the applications and the settings um, that Adam is going to see. If I click on mirror headset at this stage, I am able to monitor Adam. So I can see what Adam is seeing and I can guide him what application to pick and what settings to pick. So it's kind of like monitoring live. So we're going to start with control headsets and I'm going to introduce the applications that I would like Adam to do. So the idea is I'm gonna select the settings that I'm interested in doing. So I'm gonna start with a range of motion test and training. I'm gonna select the one minute for this session. Music doesn't really matter. Adam, can you lower the volume of the headset with your right hand to the minimum? So keep it so you can hear it, but it won't be too loud. And I'm gonna pick um, a small training area for Adam at the beginning and see how he's feeling. The whole idea of trialing the settings um, at this session is to see how Adam is performing. So maybe the settings I selected are not so good and I'm not really achieving my goal with the patient and maybe I need to change it and do a median, right? So let's see how Adam is doing. Okay. So Adam's gonna do a range of motion test and I can mirror in the meantime and see what stage he is in. So the whole idea is I'm gonna watch Adam here and see how he's performing and if he's compensating or just performing a pure movement of the neck. Okay, and now Adam, you're gonna have a short session with the settings I think are most relevant for you. Let me know if you feel that it's too much, there's too much pain, or if you feel comfortable with it.
Okay, good job. How are you feeling? There was one turn to the right, I think the first or the second, that that hurt more, but the other, the rest of the movement were okay. Okay, okay. So I think I'm gonna keep those settings. So I'm gonna write everything down on the checklist. In the bottom, you have all the settings written for you, so you can select the one that you think are uh, most relevant, and then we're gonna combine all the applications together into a plan of care that will be sent to Adam later today. So Adam, the next application I would like to introduce is Balloon Blast. Um, have you seen this app before? Did you see the movies and the tutorials? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna do a range of motion test and a short training. For Adam, I'm gonna do a swipe mode. Let's do one minute for this session. And I'm gonna click here on the advanced setting and I'm gonna select Quite large area. Whoops. I'm gonna put all the different motion selection selections. And let's do a medium for the speed. And let's see how Adam is feeling. So I'm gonna keep both hands is the idea of using balloon blast uh, for Adam here is to increase mobility. And let's start the session. So, Adam, can you stand up? Perfect. And move back a little bit if you can. Okay. And I'll make sure to calibrate. Okay, perfect. So you're gonna have a range of motion test. Um, we're just gonna assess your movement in your shoulders and then a short session of a minute. Let me know how you feel or if it's too much on your neck. Okay, so try and pop the balloons in a swiping mode, kind of from up to top. Perfect. I use my right, my right arm, and it hurts. It hurts. Okay, so in that case, I'm gonna go back and adjust the setting. So I'm gonna set the grid to be a little smaller. So it won't aggravate, aggravate that pain. And then when we reassess in two weeks, I, we could go back to the full grid again and see how Adam is feeling. So while Adam is completing the session, I'm gonna go back here. And the next application I'm gonna show is relax. And we're gonna do the meditate. So we're just gonna introduce this to Adam. The idea would be to end the session with a relaxed session. Adam, when you're done, you can sit down on the chair and just make sure to pick up the headset and see where you're sitting. Okay, you feeling good so far? Yeah, just my shoulder and my neck started. Okay, so this is a good time to end our session with the Relax app. Okay, so you can put the headset back. Have you had a chance to try the Relax before? Uh, no, not yet. No, okay. So what I'm gonna show you right now is a module that is called Meditate. It will help you kind of relax and reduce the pain that you're having. Um, do you prefer the garden, the beach, or the forest? 
The beach. The beach. Okay, so I'm going to send you to a tutorial that will give you a short explanation about the app. The idea would be for you to finish each day with a five minute meditation session, okay? So Adam is watching the tutorial in the meantime to kind of introduce the app. Ideally, the patient should have saw this before in the app, but if they don't remember, they're confused with the different application, it's better to send them into a tutorial so they understand what are you talking about and why are you prescribing that application for them. So let's say Adam finished to watch the tutorial. I'm gonna finish the session here for this demo and I'm gonna click back. So my next step would be to make sure that Adam knows how to use the applications, how to navigate the menus, and how to select the right settings. So I'm going to go back to the main menu of the control headset, and I'm going to go to Miro. So Adam, can you exit the relaxed eight? How do I do that? So do you see the back button on top? Yep, yeah. and there's a little door on top on the left. Yeah. Perfect. So the whole idea of the mirroring is just to monitor and confirm that Adam is good to go. So Adam, I would like you to open the applications. Okay. Perfect. And go to Relaxate. Okay. And start the session. I would like you to choose the meditation module. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then I want you to click on the five minute session and you can select whatever settings you prefer. If you want the forest, if you want the beach, what kind of music you would like. And so like five minute duration. Mm -hmm. In order to start the session, you're just going to click begin session and you're good to go. Perfect. So you can see that Adam feels pretty comfortable with navigating between the applications and the settings. So Adam, you can exit the app. So if you click on the left controller, mm. it'll give you an option to exit. Back to menu. Yes, and then the door to exit. All right. Perfect. So when I'm done with my session, I'm gonna log out the patient right here on top. And now, Adam, the last step with the headset, I just want to make sure that you can log in with your credentials. So I want you to click on the login button and put in your username and password and just make sure that you're able to log in. Okay. At the end of the session, please make sure to log out of your profile in the headset and that is for safety reasons and for data accuracy reasons. So we, want, we wouldn't want anyone else using the applications under your username and then it's kind of messing up the data, because it will be someone else's data. How was the experience so far? How are you feeling? Do you feel comfortable with the applications I showed you and the settings? Yeah, I pre feel pretty comfortable. Okay, so I would like you to do um, those three applications four times a week. You think that is something you could do? Or would you prefer to do a little bit every day? Uh, four times a week sounds good. Okay, so you're going to do four times a week, three applications. You're going to start with Rotate and then Balloon Glass and then finish up with Relax, right? 
If you feel like you would want to do more than that, then you're more than, than welcome to do so, but the four would be our minimum, okay? If you have any questions during the process, you can always email me and we can schedule another meeting if needed, okay? Our next meeting will be two weeks from now, so we're gonna schedule the, that meeting in this session as well. Um, and I'll send you a confirmation for that schedule, for that appointment. Um, and that's it pretty much. Um, after we say bye to Adam, you're gonna document everything in the EMR system um, with the appropriate codes, of course. And um, you're gonna schedule in your calendar every three days a time slot to review Adam's data. So the remote monitoring part, you're gonna log into the data portal every three days, review the data, analyze it. If it looks good, then you can just continue to monitor. If you see the patient is not compliant or if you see the results are not so good, um, then you need to intervene and reach out to the patient and see if there's anything that needs to be done. Maybe you need to adjust the plan of care, maybe you need to discontinue the service, maybe you need to reach out to the physician. So you kind of need to watch the data and see if there is a big difference in between sessions. Um, and that's it. Have a good day, everyone.